ATM Hotep. Um, before I say anything else, how many of y'all in the chat already? First, shout out to everybody in the chat, and I appreciate anybody who takes time out to spend some time with me. I, I really appreciate it. I don't just be saying that. But um, how many of y'all familiar with this phrase? I know you going to dig this. <laughs> how many of y'all heard that before? I know you going to dig this. I almost sound just like it. The sample, right? Anyway, this is your brother, Wujawa Manib, Eddie Ma'at, and you're tuned in to the Seshu Ma'ani Metal Netcher channel, a.k.a. the Seshu for short. And we shortened the name because everybody butchered, butchered our name. The Sashu. They started confusing us with the Hebrew argument. Are we the Sashu of of Yahweh and and all kinds of things? So we just I just simplified the name of the channel, the Seshu. All right, just say the Sesh, the Seshu. It's, it's all good. But um, peace to everyone. Today is Tuesday, May third. Um, I'm not going to be long. I just wanted to kind of touch on this topic that you see on the screen right here. And again, I know you're going to dig this. <laughs> uh but um so anyway i'm just going to dive straight in um as you can see on the on the on the um screen this is about the brother asar imhotep our good brother asar imhotep and the question is is asar imhotep a linguist i know you all want to know that question is he a linguist if you are like me here, you know, when we get in these conversations on these YouTube streets, the Facebook streets, people tend to um, start saying Asar, you know, start saying things about Asar, you know, whenever Asar is arguing. And, you know, I have my opinion about that, uh, why it happens, when it happens, and, and, and the results of it happening. And so, you know, we're just going to uh, talk about that um, and answer the question, is Asar Imhotep a linguist? But before I do that, um, let me say this and remind everybody, because people, you know, we have um, convenient amnesia around here on these YouTube streets and Facebook streets. So every now and then um, I get inbox DM'd and even emailed where people are, um, you know, they always ask me questions. You know, I love in, in, in um Interactions. I love the engagement. I love questions. I love correspondence and things like that. But every now and then, people will ask me um, if there's if there's beef between certain people, like me and certain people, me and other people, other people with me, or or not even with me, but in other people. People trying to get the four one one from me about about an alleged beef between other people and stuff, you know. And and I'm gonna tell you this: I don't get into that. So that's I don't. So if 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 anybody's listening and you've con you've asked me that question and I don't answer you, that's why I don't I don't get into that. Um, you know, I'm I'm a conflict resolutionist. That's what I consider myself. Um, I'm a, I consider myself a voice of reasoning. You know, I see people argue all the time and 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 I stand, you know, and analyze and, and come find out these two people arguing. They're really saying the same thing. And I just remind people of that. But anyway, so what I'm saying is that um, I'm bringing this up because somebody just now, not just now, but today asked me something like that. So and it's based on the recent conversations over this black stuff uh, between Jonathan Owens, a.k.a. Smash Rockwell, a.k.a. the Magi. Um, myself is involved. Asari Motep is involved. The brother Unk has uh, chimed in. And then, you know, the pseudo killers is a whole you know, dealing with Chief X and, and even on the Brother Garfield's uh, channel. And, you know, it's been spread out. The conversations have been going from channel to channel and different conversations and stuff. And so people think that there's, like, some issues. Now, there may be separate issues, so I'm not, I'm not pretending to know everything and, and what's going on at all times at all. But I just want to speak, say this to you all who are listening now, is that, what you all have to understand, at least for me, now this is, I'm, I'm strictly speaking for myself and I shouldn't have to say that because I'm the one that's talking. So I'm speaking for myself from my own perspective and this is my stance of how I feel, all right? Um, unapologetically. All these people, like like everybody that even, even appears to argue, fuss, and fight online, I honestly believe 
that no matter how intense the argument, the online argument can get and whatnot, I do believe that if any people who appear to be arguing were to, were to be in need of each other's help in real life or in person, I don't doubt that the help will be extended. Now, I would like to to stay on that belief and and then if there's an exception so be it but that's that's where i stand uh, with that so i don't think that none of any of these things are serious in terms of what i see now like i said there may be some extra beef and some deeply ingrained stuff that's going on that i, I i'm not pretending to speak to so i'm not i'm not trying to be um a therapist the uh, the, the um, youtube streets therapist or anything like that but i'm just saying so i don't want people to uh, feel that um, the need to instigate or put batteries in people's back to, to kind of um, leverage any apparent beef just for entertainment purposes. I don't think that's right. And I don't think that should that should um, that should go on. That should happen. I'm, I'm totally against that. So if I feel people are doing it to me, trying to put batteries in my back or I see people putting pe putting batteries in other people's back as it relates to me. I, I'm 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 going to be right there in your face, uh, putting it into that, all right? Because I don't I don't I don't even have a battery pack in my back for batteries to fit. So don't try to put some batteries in my back. I don't I'm you know what I'm saying I don't I'm I'm solar power. I don't need batteries. I'm I I get my energy from the sun. Then if you want, <laughs> if you want to look at it like that, or whatever. I don't I don't need any batteries in my back. All right. Um, so I don't get down. So I just want to kind of remind people of that. And then another thing too. Um, uh, you all should remember the Amon Ra squad. I'm sure everybody remembers the Amon Ra squad. And I'm saying you remember it as if it's as if it's past tense or something like that. The Amon Ra squad. That's right. The Amon Ra squad. All right. You got Asar Imhotep, Brother Sanjeti, Uncle Kek who uh, retired that name. Now he's Bobby Banger, Bobby West, Bobby Banger, Bobby Baltimore, but he's still the same person. You got myself. You got, um, well, I'm just gonna name names now. You know, some some people may not have, uh, be, a, be a part of the Amon Ross squad uh, in its current iteration and things like that. And Amon Ross squad is not, not active, but you know, I um, think, uh, Bobby Banger has some some things in store for everybody, but my point is to name these names. You got the brother Ngozi, you got the brother uh, Nahisi, the brother uh, Ben, you had Sister Naya, you have Doctor Maat, you had uh, Sudanet Tai, you had uh, Ishmael Bay. All of these names are have been or are associated with the Amin Ra squad, and notice that. On these YouTube streets, the people that are, are bringing, even if it gets dramatic sometimes, but the people that are bringing stuff are one of the people that I named. You know, not that pseudo stuff either. I mean, there's a lot of other names. I'm not I'm not saying, you know, there's other people doing things. So, you know, um, and I tip my hat to anybody who's doing something. But I'm just saying the people that... Um, or in these YouTube streets in some form of capacity are the people who I just named. And so if we disagree on points or whatever the case is, then I don't, I don't understand how people think that that's something so over the top where people feel that they could put batteries in people's backs and think that it's something other than what it actually is. So I'm here to say on my part, I'm cool with everybody. I don't have no ill feelings for anybody at all. I don't do that. I'm, I don't come from that cloth. I'm not cut from that cloth. I don't come from that background um, at all. You know, I was formally trained in school. And I say this all the time. I was part of, of uh, debating teams in college. So I was formally trained and we were trained and, and instructed never to take information personally. Well, the, the exact teaching is never identify with information. Don't don't um, project your identity on information. Never do that as a as a scholar. 
or or a researcher or or anything debater or what have you never do that and the reason why is because your arguments are supposed to be attacked if you present a claim and an argument and you present it to 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 the public open eyes assume is going to be attacked and so if you identify yourself with the information you put forth and then the information is attacked guess what you're going to feel you're being attacked and then it's going to throw everything off so th that's me personally i don't do that and and uh, to other people and 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 i don't you know when people attack information i don't take it personal like that now people can get personal because people don't understand like you know i don't expect everybody to be to have my background and and have that understanding so i you know i do see people attack people now there's a difference between insulting someone and then throwing ad hominem ad hominem is a logical fallacy in insults is not and so some people be be uh using them synonymously and and just be all wrong you know um we shouldn't do either one you know get 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 personal just because you can't win an argument or you feel that that's you know that gives you upper hand and stuff like that so anyway i don't want to i don't want to go on on that rant but i just i just want to do that reminder though you know um everybody is everybody's everybody everybody's cool um from from my view now you all may know something i don't and I, like i said i don't pretend to know everything and there there may be some some actual um irreparable issues between people but i i'm i'm not aware of it and i'm speaking for myself so so if anybody come and checking for me and checking up on me or whatever the case is listen i'm cool i am cool i don't lose any sleep over over this like i I've, i'm trained for stuff and you know and plus i don't get into the drama i you know anybody who's been around been you know hanging out with me and stuff like that over the years and familiar with me you all already know how i get down i don't you know I, people say i got patience for days tolerance of stone patience of stone or whatever the case is um and that's just that so i'll, I'll let other people just uh, take me as as it is so let's get into this um is a sorry linguist so anyway peace to everybody you know i did my little rant just that just now uh, buying myself some time really to load this video um, but peace to everybody. Shout out to everybody. I really appreciate it. Anybody taking time out to um, hang out with me. And, and you know, I'm not going to do those long, long-winded things. I always say that and I end up doing it. So, you know, I just said it. So, I'm probably going to end up doing it, right? <laughs> but, um, no, I'm going I'm going to be good tonight. So, I'm just going to jump in this topic. Is Asari Motep a linguist? And, okay, so listen. I'm sure you all have heard this. So so let me, let me just get a, a quick poll in the chat um, to open things up. How many of you all, well, everybody in the chat here, everybody who's a subscriber uh, to this channel, and by the way, like the video. Even if you don't like me or what I'm saying, like the video. Just just like the uh, the microphone I got on the screen. Just, just let that be enough <laughs> for you to like the video. Just like the background. You may, you may, you may totally disagree with what I'm saying, and don't like what I'm saying, but find something on this video that you like, and just hit the like button. It's free. All right. I got 48 people watching. There should be 48 likes right now. Um, for that. But here's a poll to you all in the chat. How many? Well, everybody should be familiar with Asar Motep because if if you if you're familiar with me, most likely you're familiar with Asar Motep. You know, me, myself, uh, I say me, myself, myself, the brother Sanjeti, and Asar Hemotep have pretty much uh, clicked up for years. And, and, and we kind of met each other online like years, years ago, and, and we do similar work, and we overlap a lot, and we, and we have the same ideals and things like that. So, you know, we tend to kind of come as a package um, in a lot of people's eyes, us, you know, the three of us. And we've done work together, uh, online, offline, um, et cetera, et cetera. So I'm saying, so if you're familiar with me, you're most likely you're familiar with, with Sanjeti and Asar Motep. So my question to you, though, is have you all heard 
um, the question raised, like, or not even the question, but have y'all heard? A, have you all heard the accusation that a SAR, you're not a linguist, you're not a linguist, you're pseudo, you're a fraud. Uh, what do you call it? Uh, um, a, a, a fringe linguist or or a, uh, a fraud. You're not a real linguist. How many of y'all have heard that? Just by, I would say a show of hands, but just just let me know. Just just making sure. I'm just making sure I, I'm um, speaking to the right folks. How many of y'all heard that? I have. I mean, you know, like I said, I, I hear it all the time. All the time. And recently. So, you know, y'all let me know. Shout out to everybody, though. Shout out. Shout out. Shout out, shout out. Okay, he said, Asar said he had four more trans. Oh, let me, let me, let me go right here. What's this comment right here? He said, select the blazing. Select the, I know you going to dig this. <laughs> Have y'all, look, <laughs> y'all got to forgive me. Y'all, see, there's a lot. I don't know. I ain't, I ain't even going to go down there. But um, anyway, select the blazing. He says, Asar said he had, he, he's, he has had formal training, but he doesn't have a qualification on linguistics. His qualification is computer science, but the logic he learned from CS is transferable. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Appreciate that. But I'm, I'm just trying to get some hands. All right. So, yeah. So, basically, people have heard that, right, um, about him. All right. So, I'm just going to jump into it now that this video that I want to share is ready. All right. So, I'm going to take the chat off the screen. Okay. So, listen. The video that I got queued up, I'm going to play it, and it's the video from Smash Rockwell's uh, channel, the Brother Jonathan, a.k.a. Smash Rockwell, a.k.a. the Magi, all right? And if you're familiar with me, you're familiar with Asar, you're familiar with Sanjetti, uh, the Brother Bobby Banger, and stuff, um, and that's why I forgot to mention, as far as the Amara Squad, too, you got Smash Rockwell, I think I forgot, but, um, so yeah, you, you, everybody here should be familiar with him. All right, anyway, this is a video from his channel, a recent video the other day, maybe two days ago, I believe. The days are getting blurry to me. Um, so this is a clip from it where um, Asar is being accused of not being a linguist. Okay, so I'm going to play the clip, but but now before the time step, before the point where, where Asar is accused of this, there's some other interesting um, issues that were discussed, you know, dealing with the whole uh, black Egypt Egyptians uh, being black, calling themselves black, and and all this other stuff, right? So I'm just gonna play this clip, and you all, you know, and and maybe give my commentary on it, leading up to where Sar is being um, accused of not being a, a linguist. But I, I'm doing this to make a point. And that's really, you know, the point I want to make tonight. And that's why I hope that I'm not going to be uh, forever on here tonight. All right. So here's the clip. So I'm going to play it from a certain point. So so just to just to prep the clip, the clip is the brother Shaka Ndugu Kimmet. He's, he's known online now as Ma'at Forever, at least on YouTube. But you all may be familiar with him, Shaka Ndugu uh, Kimmet. Um, I'm familiar with him um, I think the other day was the first time I had a direct dialogue with him, but I'm familiar with him um, from some time ago, okay? Uh, he would get into it with a few people and things like that. So, but anyway, it's the brother Shaka, it's myself, Asar Motep, and Smash. And we're, and we're, and we're talking, we're, we're at the latter part of the conversation about the Egyptians calling themselves black, you know, or the black man, the black man, or black man, and things like that. So anyway, y'all, you all listening? Oh, and do this when I hit play. I need you all to do me a favor. Um, let me know that you can hear it. I'm gonna let it keep playing, but type in the chat. I'll, I'll be able to see it. Let me know if you can hear it. Okay, so let me just uh, uh, add to that real quick. Is that um, my stance has has been consistently saying that the Kim for these individuals is not talking about all right can you all hear that um 
the first person just can confirm that for me, then I, I can keep it. Okay, Trey Smith, appreciate it. Do I? All right, so I'm gonna let it. I'm gonna let it keep playing, and you know, you all may hear some takeaways from 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 this part too. So I'm gonna let it play. Thinking about their appearance. Indeed, it's not. It's, it's not a descriptor of their appearance. It is part so of their. It can, it can mean. It can mean Kim Black, but it, it would not go. I'm sorry. Just to cue you in, because because it's like I said, it's a clip, and and I don't want to. I don't want to clip it out of context. So I'm gonna give you the a summary of the con context of right where we are in this clip, right? So this is me reiterating for maybe the 30th time my stance on on in on the conversation. Okay? And so I'm so you know, I just restate my my stance for this topic that's been going on for uh in recent these past 3 days. And I've been saying the same thing over and over and over again. So this is me just reiterating that and then we're going to go and it just plays out from there. Okay, so let me just uh, uh, add to that real quick. Is that um, my stance has, has been consistently saying that the Kim for these individuals is not talking about their appearance. Indeed, it's not. It's, it's not a descriptor of their appearance. It is part so of their. It can, it can mean it can mean Kim Black, but it, it would not go to describe his physical appearance. appearance. Which is and clear because we we have actual images of him and he's not black. Yeah, but no, that's uh, in, that's in been addressed. Of and because again we've dealt with this before. Yeah, but when we but so did, it would it would. Sorry, not to cut you off. Earlier when we discussed that part that you just brought up, it's been mentioned that in the in the source work they discussed that and mentioned that actually to widen the spectrum of what's considered black, not to limit it so they're saying people mm -hmm. of this who use this red paint and we could pull it up in the book were still describing themselves as black so i just but wanted then, to add that but then but then desher would have to be black you you would have to define desher and desherette as black oh i hear because what you're that saying is the actual you i didn't what I'm saying? i so messed like, up i didn't no. mean red paint i meant the, the actual red, okay dark but brown that, that's that they the use color that he is depicted in it is in the in the brownish reddish paint it is not is not kim black okay i'm uh, i'm gonna pause it every now and then and just and just highlight some things i want y'all to take note that asar said um uh reddish brown okay he didn't say red and it, and it's a it's uh, significant of why i'm saying this you just heard asar say reddish brown or brownish red or whatever but he used brown and red together reddish brown um together right and i know i always describe the color that we see um the ancient egyptians uh 99 of the time painted in as reddish brown i mean I've, I've i've been saying that for years so that's like off the tip off it just rolls off my tongue smoothly reddish brown reddish brown reddish brown um but he never said red but he's but later on he's going to be accused of saying red and then that becomes an argument and and you know I'm going to point out something with that so if if you're trying and and I'm saying that you personally but I'm just saying if we are going to expand the the uh the color spectrum of Kim to include that then you would have to define Desher and Desherette as black because that's the color that he's depicted in. Uh, that's yeah, a good. If, 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 go I may, if I may interject, I, I don't necessarily agree with that statement because the red ochre was used. The red ochre was abundant. We don't know if the black coloring was abundant, and we know that a lot of artifacts. Let him finish us on because we're gonna keep it cool. Let him finish us on. There's many artifacts, and I've documented that for years who originally had some dark brown coloring, but over time it has faded. So we don't know if that particular uh, uh, painting or depiction has faded. And, reg and regardless, the person doesn't have to be jet black. You know, there's different shades or skin tones of black. Uh, Whether Rujawu, have you shown them the picture? Because his hair is pitch black. Yeah, um, I didn't show that yet. I can. Um, I can pull up. I can pull all that up. The only reason why I haven't yet 
is because um, I was trying to slow it and get to that because it seems to be passed over because because when I mentioned it earlier, it was because the book talk about it. Then we kind of glossed over it. But and but, we also no. have to we also have to be careful of not committing a logical fallacy of appeal by authority. We always in, in when we have these type of that. situations, oh, oh. you you have to always go with the primaries and deal with that. And just yeah. because, well, it, it's it's you know because they designated Nehesi as Negroes in the dictionary too, but mm-hmm. that doesn't mean that's what the word Nehesi means. So mm-hmm. by appealing to authority, it doesn't help us in our case. Mm-hmm. So let me pause here, just to kind of uh, elaborate on that point right there alone. Um, what Asar mentioned is that when you look in the dictionaries and you look up the word Nehesi or Nehesiu or even Ta Nehesiu or Ta Nehesi, um, the dictionaries will define that as Negro land for Ta Nehesi and then Nehesiu as Negroes. And we know that the word Negro, Negro is the word black. And so we know that that's not what the word means, but that's what the dictionary says. And so what Asar is saying is that if we if we rely on the dictionary um, only, then you're you know you we got to be careful of not appealing uh, to authority, uh, committing a logical fallacy. And these are and that actual point is what we do know is that that's not what the word means, but that's what the uh, the dictionary is listed in, and there's reasons why. But that's that's a whole another conversation. Well, let it keep on playing. Mm-hmm. We're always going to have to be able to examine the primary. Mm-hmm. And so in this case, with um, when you actually see the depictions of him, you see his hair is pitch black as Kim, but not his body. Yeah. yeah just like me. Yeah, just like me, basically, yeah, black, right? Black, black, black doesn't mean jet black. You have different shades. Exactly. And I think we're going but to a different shade, conversation. Here. It would be defined as Desher. Um, I disagree with that. Saying. That's what you're yeah, saying. You're making that up. You won't show no source on that. What I mean is show a person written, drawn with that hue describing themselves as Desher. We have one drawn with that hue. No, there's no... Listen, listen. There's, there's, it's not an issue of them calling themselves. I'm just saying for logic's sake. If you are going to expand and include now the reddish brown uh, color that they depict themselves in in the range of Kim, then by definition, because that's the same color that they use to color the sun, that they color other cows, and it's called Desher mm-hmm. and Desherette. Mm-hmm. And so you would have to buy. Lo- I'm not saying that that's my argument. I'm saying by logic. You would mm-hmm. have to include, you would have to redefine Desher as black. So because I hear that's you. the range, you know what I'm saying? So I'm but, like, we, we, we got to be careful of the arguments that we're making. We start. Because we would have to adjust and, 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 and change other things for which we're allegedly more solid on. Well, uh, well you know, Asa, Asa, and peace to you. Now, I agree, you you don't feel that it stands for Cam meaning black, that it doesn't stand for the color. I understand that. Now, no, I, 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 can, I can vouch that it, it probably means black, but this is what Ujahu was saying. He's already agreed to that. What he's saying is that it's not describing his physical phenotype. And there are other, cause, and, and uh, you know, I released my book on this in late August. And I'm going to show a bunch of of names with people who have color designations in their name other than Kim and how they all are associated with occupations. For example, you have a a woman with the name of Hedget in her name, the white, and it has to deal with millet and and, um, being a miller, someone who deals with grain. And so these these color designations, it could mean Kim black, but that doesn't mean it's describing his phenotype. It could be associated with someone who was over cattle, uh, for example. Those are great well, arguments. Yeah, yeah, but uh, uh, Josh, who put those for? Let me just say one thing it's about not necessarily white. About, about what we proposed about the hedget or the woman. What is her name exactly? Uh, do you remember? I don't. I don't have my notes. Again, I'm. I'm I don't have my computer on me because, again, I'm in, you know, I live in Philly. So, okay. but I'm, um, I'm in Detroit for this conference. So, oh. 
I'm, I'm in the car and I don't have none of that. I can't share my screen. I can't do any of that. What I'll propose uh, with, with the details. What I'll propose is when you get to that source, we'll possibly see that the color is not in the adjectival position, meaning it's not at the end. It ain't. It ain't Mary Rod Hedgett. It's going to be something. You, you, the, the the adjectives could come before the noun. I, I know um, that's and also something that Ujahu's found, but we have to demonstrate the instances when that's <laughs> done with names. Okay, so let me just pause it right there. Um, okay, Smash is in the chat just to uh, acknowledge what he's saying in the chat right now. He says that it was earlier in the video when he says red, then reddish brown. Okay, well, I, I only pointed that out because um, in this portion, um, he was saying reddish brown. I think that he said earlier in the video, but uh, if I go back, he had just kind of just came in into the conversation, though. Um, so, yeah, Smash, do, this, do, me, do me a solid favor. Um, on your video, you, you, you know, you, this is just a clip, right? So on your video, give me the timestamp of that. You know, because like I said, I, I'm not trying to misrepresent the reality here. So give me the timestamp on that. All right. Uh, do me that solid. But um, the reason why I stopped it here just now is because um, what I've done in the past. And, you know, I understand uh, we, we got a we got a large archive of videos uh, on this channel. We've been doing this for a long time. And. And the work that we do on this channel is is kind of narrow and more specialized. And so, so a lot of people are not exposed to the videos that we've done because it it takes us uh, interest in in the language and things like that because it's not um, it's not uh, typical of of like what people are are seeing elsewhere and what people are more you know more inclined to watch and stuff like that. So in our archives. Um, we have brief lessons. So I've done uh, maybe two or three times brief lessons on adjectives where I do show adjectives starting out sentences in and out of names. In fact, the name uh, Niwesa uh, Ra is an adjectival um, sentence with, a name, with an adjective in the beginning. Um, Niyang Pepe <laughs> Kim, the one that we've been talking about, it starts off, Ni is an adjective right there in the, in the beginning of his name. So the fact that adjectives can begin um, uh, adjectival sentences is is well known in in grammar, but even even within names. So if if the issue has ever been uh, trying to find them in names, then um, that's pretty much uh, plentiful as well too. Um, with that, any any name that you see with uh, knee at the beginning. Um, and there's a lot, you know. I could, I could, I could dig up some if 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 somebody really was pressing me to do that, uh, because we I go over them in in, in passing. In the past, uh, all this time I've been teaching, I, we pull out different examples of of all those kinds of things. So, uh, all right, I'm let it I'm let it keep playing because really I'm 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 playing this really to to as a replay this part as a replay, and let me tell you this uh, tell you another reason why I, I started here is because um, a lot of the conversation prior to this got confusing. Now, obviously, it was nobody's intention on, on being confusing or trying to confuse anybody, but it got confusing. And, and it was at this point where the conversation kind of uh, reset itself, where, where I reiterated my stance, um, Shaka reiterated his stance, or not re, or or he expressed his stance, and I believe Smash expressed his stance, and so it was like a little more clear here. So that's the only reason why I'm start I'm starting here, but I really want to get to the point, um, at the at the um at the end of this clip where Asar is accused of being of not being a linguist and things like that, because I want to make a point with that. All right, so I'm I'm really doing both things at once. You know, doing this as a replay, just to kind of solidify a couple of things and get to this uh uh asar being a linguist or not a linguist uh issue all right so anyway i'm gonna um let it play i may interject uh again a few more times particularly yeah you see I, what can, I'm I, can, I can i can oh i don't know i didn't know. I, unmute yourself with yahoo i was trying to mute myself it, 
Yeah, see, he he accidentally muted me, and I was just gonna say I, I could show that, and that's what I just said to y'all just now is what I was gonna say is like you know I could I could show that if if I was pressed to do it uh, as far as that find adjectives that begin people's names and stuff, um, unless people are asking um, for specifically Kim begin the word you know the word Kim beginning uh, someone's name, uh, then that's a different that's a different question. But adjective beginning names, yeah. Adjective beginning sentences is is everywhere. Uh, but anyway, I'm let it play. And I unmuted you on the screen. Ujahu, yeah, oh, sorry. sorry. I was me? trying to mute myself. Go ahead. Can you hear me? Yeah, go ahead. We, we can hear can't. you, Ujahu. Okay, so, yeah. So, so this is the um the actual uh photograph of 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 one of the scenes that we were showing in in the book, in the in the black and white book. Mm -hmm. And so the um so the, so now that we're on this point these people are depicted their hair is is using the pigment the normal pigment that used throughout the 3000 plus years in kemet for black so mm -hmm. their hair is is actually painted black their skin color is is the same color that they use for 99% of all ancient egyptian adult males mm -mm. which is which, which is not black Okay, now I want y'all to. Uh, he said, uh, sh uh, Shaka said, dark brown, and I at that moment I'm just I'm just you know I'm just giving commentary as, as I'm replaying this. I thought he said uh, I thought he was saying not right or something like that. So so I'm glad that I just heard that that back. Um, but he didn't say that. He said dark brown. Um, but so he didn't disagree with me. I thought he I thought he was disagreeing with me on that point. I was like, good gracious, you know. <laughs> Like, wow, is this just, I want to disagree uh, just for GP type of thing? That's what I was thinking uh, at, at that moment. I'm like, man. But no, 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 no. So so, so I heard him correctly. Uh, now he said dark brown. All right. But let me just pause because I'm, I'm, I'm trying to get through this. The, the, the point is, and, and you all should be able to pick up on this, is that um, Smash is saying, that the the scholars in in the book were talking about broadening the uh, Kim to include this color that we see it that we that we're seeing on the screen now the skin color of these figures here, um, and that's what Asar was saying. Well, we well that means we would have to include Desher as um, as Kim as black. Like we had to just you know switch switch all that stuff up. And one of Shaka's uh, point that he brought up about fading, you know, he said he's been documenting and taking pictures and, and documenting, and he noticed that some of the the uh, vibrancy he didn't use the word vibrancy, but but the vibrant paint or pigment uh, used is worn away. Now, you know, we all understand that the damage, the age, these things are a thousand years old, et cetera. And so he was saying that we don't know how dark brown they actually were because we're looking at it. Uh, thousands of years later and everything but the but the the pushback on that is that that's kind of um in this instance that you see on the screen that doesn't apply because their hair is still black and it's just not the same pigment that was used or the same paint in the in the artesians um paint block they didn't they didn't dip their uh their their brushes in that same thing that they painted the skin with the same thing that they did with the hair so it was, it was definitely a distinction there. So that so that's just um, really is real relevant on this right here, um, as, as far as expanding the meaning of desher or this color to within the realm of black. All right, so I'm gonna let it play. This is dark brown, right? It's um, you see it on the screen, right? You, yeah, you yeah it's, so, it's the brown color you depicted it's to depict brown. us, yeah. a person who brown. That's not red. That's not, yeah, it's not red, indeed. Okay, so here's where they say it's not red, uh, uh, saying that Asar said it was red. And so Smash, yeah, if you if you get a chance, you know, I'm not I'm not uh, pressing or anything, but if you get a chance, if you give me a timestamp uh, for that, because I don't remember him saying red, because but I could be wrong, but I know me, I always say reddish brown. I always say reddish brown. I don't I don't say red, like that would that that doesn't even sound right to me. Uh, red. But I would say reddish brown because reddish brown is including is included in in Desher. Um This color right here is included in Desher. All right. 
Okay, so right. it's, a, it's a brownish, it's a brownish it's, red, it's, and it's the same. It's the same it, one. Pull up any image of the sun. Uh, no. you, oh, let me do that real quick. Um, Asar was saying, pull up any image of the sun and the figure. This is what he's. This is an example. I, you know, I don't know what he had in mind, but this is a picture that um, came to my mind when he said it. Uh, if y'all can see on the screen where you see the, uh, I know y'all can't see my cursor. But you see the sun disc here in, in the uh, plume, and you see the uh, the 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 whatever paint device and paint that they were using in the paint well of their of their um, tools, they used the same paint or pigment for this as they did the skin, and and in pretty much in a, many of the tombs or where you see the color vibrancy you'll you'll see that if you see the uh, depiction of the sun and whatnot they usually use whatever paint they paint the sun and the skin they usually use the same all right that's that's what the point that Asar is, is bringing forth but this is just an example of that where you have the same thing is painted here all right and I don't even see now this one looks more now you know I, I even asked this you know in the past uh, what color would people call this and I still refer to this as reddish brown and I always I'm, I'm consistently saying reddish brown but I've I've seen p other people say to this picture this exact picture people will say this is red they said dark red and I'm like well dark red and, you know so then it just gets into a subjective um, opinion you know subjective um, situation with that so you know I, I always be safe and say reddish brown then that covers that covers them all all right, so I'm not going to dwell on that too much. Let's go back to the audio here. All right, and you see that the sun is the same well, color. Well, here's something: and we don't got the sun called red. Why don't you pull up the red crown of Lower Egypt, and you'll see it's not this color. You said the red crown of Lower Egypt. Mm-hmm. Upper, lower, up. Yeah. So Smash is right when you when you look at the red. Uh, crown, which is called Desheret, it's not the same color as the as the the um, the colors of these figures on the screen right here. It, it's not, but um, it doesn't mean that it's not classified as Desher because it's not a one for one. the The color spectrum is not. There's no um, definitive uh, boundary line, you know, and that's what. Last night and, and a few other videos, I, you know, I recommend to, to, to the audience, to you all in the audience, um, certain books to get if you want to, you know, uh, gain more information um, about Egyptian art, the color terms and and what they how they made them, what what it was used for, the spectrums and things like that. So you have Desher, which covers a range of what we would call different colors. So like and this is normal in many cultures to this very day. Like we have a separate term for blue and green, but then in the blues we have we have terms for for subdivisions of blues. We got sky blue, turquoise. Um, I mean, you name it, crimson for other color. We 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 have these other color terms because we make those perceptive differences. But you have cultures that don't do that. Now they have eyes; they can see what we see, but they don't label it that way. And it's a it's a it's a it's a it's a um, interesting thing to study about that. But the point that I'm making right now is that within the color term, there's a spectrum where even yellow, um, moving towards yellow or orange, I should say, is covered in the word desher. So it's not when we say red or we translate desher as red. Don't think of it as a strict red okay uh whatever hexagonal gonical number uh you know the red is in computer in the in the computer uh language html um don't think of it that way it's it's a range all right it's a range so let me let it play because i won't be oh, lower. lower yeah no 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 i'm okay i'm saying let me let me ask it's you this question lower egypt no 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 here's the here's the thing it's not this color that's red no. it's called just charette this yeah, brown, the the, ain't nobody gonna draw no people it, red. 
Okay, what's the what's the word for brown? It's a, it's, uh, it's a reddish. You keep hearing us say the, reddish brown. It's I know same. because yeah, there's not a the color. Because there's, there's not a word for brown in Madhu Nature. And what's I hear Jahu the, asking they me They don't that. have. Remember that color designation in in different languages, it may not uh, fall like a one to one correspondence in another language. So it, it it can include a spectrum. And so what you're what you're calling Desheret may include. You know some some hints on what would we call orange, you know red, reddish brown in that spectrum where where black in many languages, especially African languages, also include some languages include what we would call green and what others would call blue, and so we got to be we 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 can't use the English uh, designations all the time with a, as a one-to-one correspondence. We have to be careful there. Yeah, but the green and blue, that's for Arabic. We're dealing with the Medina nature. Can we at least agree on brown? Is that, is that okay for everyone? If we agree on what's brown? The, what's, what's the Egyptian word for brown? I don't yeah, know. What's but the can Egyptian we agree? No, brown. no, us, us. So, so the, I'll tell you what it is. It's we, we, Kim. We, we, no, it's Desha. <laughs> well, so hold on. You see, we, we laugh. We, 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 we laugh right there <laughs> because... Um, you know, I asked what's the color for brown to make the point that what we call brown today, we, we perceive it as a, we separate it out of, out of a spectrum, right? And we call it brown. And it's, and it's solid in our psyche of, of today right now. But other cultures didn't do the things we do and separate things. Like blue, blue and green in many cultures is, even though they can see the difference, they called it one term, one term. And I'm, I'm going to give you another, for instance, totally off the subject of color real quick. In, in certain Asian cultures, they don't have a word for uncle or, or aunt like we do. Like we know a, a, a person's uncle is a parent's brother, whether it's your mother's brother or your father's brother. That's, that's, that's your uncle. And your aunt or auntie is your mother's sister or your father's sister. And so in certain cultures, they don't even have those words. And it's interesting to study this now because if you know if if you if you were to study cultures and their what they call familial or family terms, right? Family terminologies, certain cultures don't have the same family terminologies because they view family link lineage, I mean um, links differently, which in their culture, that's why you they are allowed to marry cousins, first cousins, and, and aunts and uncles. And you and you're like, man, that's weird. Ew. You know, you're like, man, that's that's some incest stuff going on. Well, they don't even perceive the same links like how we perceive. So I'm I'm only saying that to say the same thing about colors. We gotta we gotta, you know, we can't be so um rigid like like the way we do things is is supposed to be how everybody in the world do, uh, does things. All right, so just keep that in mind. But I'm gonna let it play. Well, <laughs> see, we, now we, you, we, I'm gonna argue with Kim. Y'all gonna argue with Desheret, but that's just a, you but know. But I could okay, demonstrate. Okay. I could, I, I could demonstrate. So, so let me let me do this. Real oh, quick. all right, um, okay, okay. Was, well, maybe you can make it more simple. So basically, right. if Ujau and Asar disagree with Brown, so I guess your stance is that it's red. Is that correct? No, I say reddish brown. Mm -hmm. Okay, fine. That's, fine. that's what we. Brown. I don't know why okay, y'all keep going to brown like we saying brown in no, the single color. We repeat it from the jump. Reddish. Brown. We got English. you. I feel Reddish, you know. Brown. Yeah. Because we know, we okay. all here know we can't find that word brown, so to speak, in the middle. Yeah. That's I have it. It doesn't found. exist. It's okay. no dictionary. And so no, then, no, so then uh, the second part in that chess move, like in that algorithm, is which one of these colors did they use to define the hue in that magnitude? You guys are just saying it's just charrette. And I don't rest this uh, I'm going to pause right here. I want to share, I'm going to share something else with you all that I suggest that you all get. Um, I mentioned this before, but since y'all are watching this now, um, this is for you all who may have missed me uh, bringing this up uh, umpteen times in the past, right? This is a uh, text, and remember, y'all can always hit me up for this. I got, I, I literally have 200 gigabytes of resources digitized, um, let alone, you know, like hard copy stuff and whatever. And I and I sp I'll spread love. I have no problem with that. And and in fact, I'm rebuilding our digital library. So that if you all need resources and you out to searching, hit me up first before you um, pull your hair out or, or or whatever. I may be able to help you out, and you know if I can, I will. Anyway, 
this is this is a text that that everybody who's interested in you know uh, colors color and and how e ancient Egypt saw saw color and stuff like that. Um, you have to pick this up. This is color terms in ancient Egyptian and Coptic by Wolfgang Schenkel. Um, in this text, I'm just going to show you. Uh, I'm not going to read it all, obviously. Um, and this is not that long. This this portion. But this, in this section here, the ancient Egyptian and Coptic color terms in Egyptological discussion. So he talks about black, kemem, white, hedge, uh, red with yellow, desher. Now, I'm, I'm, I'm going to point out the fact that he has a different um, transliteration system. He has the C here, um, but that's a whole other discussion. But this is desher that we were talking about, and he has red with yellow. Green with blue is waj. And then all of these are verbs. And so, and you really have to read this and study it because you'll, you'll find out that colors come from verbs and they, then they're derived and they're, they evolve. And that's when another book that I shared um, last night uh, that will be good a good read along with this where they talk about the universi universalities uh, of colors and the evolution of color perception among humans, period, and then specific cultures. And so that's a good read for you all to um, understand a little bit more about what, what's being talked about here in terms of the range of colors in these color terms. So anyway, just wanted to show you all that. Get that. I mean, I'm not going to bore you all. Plus, I don't want to be on here. I can't be on here too long tonight. I got I to gotta, uh, discipline myself on that. Anyway, I'm going to let it play, y'all. Necessarily can contend against that but when we came here we didn't say reddish brown before we came to the source we said red that they painted themselves red and so now we get here and we see no you didn't uh, listen we said from the get-go our what you exact said. words were reddish no brown, i'm gonna rewind it on my phone uh -oh. yeah yeah he, yeah he said he was right on the phone and and it, that's cool if he if if that's if that's the case but obviously you know if we if anybody did say that uh i don't think anybody meant that because that's what we're talking right there but anyway i'm gonna let it keep going oh uh, my... i know i didn't say it because I, I i said reddish brown like like i've been programmed like i'm a computer program i don't say nothing but reddish brown you can rewind it and you're going to be like oh my okay bad. well you might have i mean we, that's we not have this discussion yeah. all the time i hear you and bro we, we we consciously always say a reddish dark brown or a, a reddish uh tint or hue it's in the it's in the color it's in the range yep. of red and reddish brown we we you, talk about this all the time you we definitely got around to saying that yeah i'm not staking that from you but i in my memory as i recall you first said they painted them red now now you know uh Osama Mutab, i don't want to put words in your mouth but if i understand you correctly earlier you said that you don't totally rule out that the chem might stand for black is that correct i was repeating ujawa okay so uh, not wait i gotta stop here so so even so <laughs> even asar heard me uh repeat myself by saying that like i'm i'm okay with kim being translated as black you know that's always been my stance um in all of these conversations even even this one on smash's channel originally um but because before i got on the panel i was i was typing in the chat you know, I was having a conversation in the chat, and I was telling people like, "Yeah, that's that's right. That's acceptable to me." Um, translated as as black, the black, and all of that. And I, but then I explained myself. Um, although we translate it as the black, therefore, what does it mean? But then when you ask that, that's when it kind of gets fuzzy because or funny, because then it's like, "What you mean? What does it mean? You know what black is? I know what black is. What you mean? Are we are we like retarded now? You know, it's like black is black." And that's and that's the part I have a, a I take issue with, because black is not always black. Like you can't assume that it's being used the same way all the time and this that, and the third. You know, it's just it's just some basic stuff. And I and and I gave examples all the time. I say my bank account is in the red. Yes, I use the word red. As a matter of fact, any do any of y'all um, in the chat speak Spanish? And I, I, you know, I know there's a, a delay, and I don't, I don't want to, um, I don't want to sit here in, in, in silence. But if, but I, I need a Spanish uh, speaker in, in the chat, like, like, um, 
you know, sh uh, raise your hand or something like that if you if you speak Spanish, if you if you are proficient in Spanish or so speak Spanish. And I'm, I'm gonna let this play, but um, I'm gonna be looking out. I need somebody to speak Spanish on that. All right, but let me let this play here. And, I, and, and trust me, y'all, I'm trying to get to the linguist. I'm letting this play. This is a replay. I think I think this is a good. See, I chose this clip because I I, I think that this this part of the conversation it, it is cool, even though <laughs> the part that's gonna that leads into gets rough, right? It does get rough. So I don't. So yes, it does get rough. But that's not why I'm playing this. I'm trying to get to the linguist part. But I think in terms of the the black conversation and all that. Um, I think this was the unconfused part of the, part of the conversation that I I actually appreciate, and because it, it got confusing and it, and it got it got thrown it went all over the place before that, you know and um and that's what even other people were telling me, um, hitting me up and asking me questions and stuff. So you know, um, I, that's why I want to replay this part because I, I I would like to I would like the conversation to to pick up. And move forward and not, you know, get all crazy and stuff. But anyway, let me keep it going. Oh, so uh see I blessed. Okay, so June. Um and and Chavis, you speak Spanish? All right, so let all right, so listen do do me a favor. I'm gonna let this play, but do me a favor. In Spanish, how do you say my bank account is in the red? Now now, now y'all know I could have pulled up Google Translate and typed that in and did it myself. But I want a Spanish speaker. How do I say in Spanish? Uh, um, Como se dice? My bank account is in the red in Espanol. All right. Again, Como se dice? My bank account is in the red in Espanol. All right. So I'm going to let this play, though. Now, if I ask you on the artifact that we have seen, do you rule out that it doesn't mean came uh, or like we translate in English the black? regardless of what it might mean are you of the opinion that oh i definitely got to pause it hey shout out to brandon sims appreciate the um the the um i don't forgot what these things are called super chat uh uh donation um i i like to let people know what their donation is going to listen your donation is going directly to more books all right anytime somebody does a um um a uh, monetary donation it goes right into books, and then I share them online. You know, once I get them, uh, depending on you know how much is is acquired or whatever, I share them online. I, I I share you know show which ones I was able to get and stuff like that. So I really appreciate that. You know, it just builds up the library even more. And I always break bread. All right, so I appreciate that. That it stands for a title. Y yes. All right. So, yes, unless, so, so unless you have unless you have uh, some kind of historical precedent in which the, you know this this would designate him as the black and in in contrast to who else who 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 are the other folks who are not the black why is uh, why is this person so special yeah I got to point this out um smash said he did say reddish brown and not red and see that's just just to, just to pause for a second and i'm glad i don't know if smash was tuned in when i first started um and and smash if you didn't you should rewind and listen to what i was saying in the beginning of this video um but i'm i'm pointing this out that smash said that because this this is how things should be done if we um if we find out that we're that that we we said something that that we're like oh wait a minute i misspoke or whatever and and for it to be pointed out to say it that's how this that's how things should be done all right so this is an example of um saying something on the video where accusing Osar saying red 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 but then when you explode explore it if we have to then he's find out okay no he didn't say that all right and then saying so and see that's how it should be done on every side every side see it, it, it should not be about trying to win all the time win an argument or even if somebody's wrong, to put that in their face, like to kick dirt in their face either. It's not about that, and I can't stand that on either side, whether you, whether whether somebody's wrong or right. Either way, it is what it is, and, and, and let's just fix it. Like, like we should see it as a puzzle to be solved. That's it. Play chess, man. Everybody needs to learn how to play chess, but play yourself. 
when you play yourself, that's when you, you'll know what I'm saying. When you play yourself, because it doesn't matter. You're not going to win against yourself. You, it, it moves from you winning against a person to beating the squares. Now you focus on the squares. No matter if you're moving for black or white, you're going to make the best move for, for both sides, and the outcome is going to be a result of making the best move, period. And that's how scholarship should go. That's my motto, and I've been saying that till the wheels fall off. All right, we're going to keep going. But, but I just want to point that out, Smash, that um, he said that. Um, oh, just real quick. So June Money uh, gave, me, gave me what I, what I needed. Me, uh, Suenta, if I'm correctly, uh, Bancaria está en rojo, right? Now, if, if we were to translate that, now I'm, I'm, I'm just going to use this as, as an example. I hope y'all follow my logic here. This is some basic stuff. Mi, uh, mi suenta, if, if I'm saying that correctly, mi suenta bancaria está en rojo, right? If we were to translate that into English, we are going to translate rojo as red. And we're going to look at it like right now, if y'all look in the dictionary, Spanish dictionary, and look up rojo, it's going to be red all day long. E-N-N is, is the word in, preposition. And rojo is going to be red. Now, if we were to translate this, and we would say, it's red. Me is my. Suenta is account. Bancaria is bank. And then esta is is. N is in. And rojo is red. And that's how we're going to do it, right? My bank account is my, ba my account of banking, you know, but they, they switch it. My bank account is is in red now we successfully translated that right we got the right words there by way of the dictionary but then now we have to translate for meaning and this is what i always teach in the classes translation is not what people think it is you got word substitution then you got semantic meaning remember translation is a semantic endeavor it's not a a uh, a surface uh word swapping uh, endeavor so we have to get into the meaning what is the intent what is the denotation connotation all that kind of stuff so although it the word is red right there and we can argue for days yes it's red it's red it's red it's red it's red it's red do you disagree with it being red nope uh, dictionary says so i can show you 15 dictionaries it's red okay it's red but do they but do they mean red the color what you mean they mean red the color? Everybody know what red is. Red is the color. Red rose, you know, red Kool-Aid. I mean, y'all grew up on Kool-Aid. Remember Kool-Aid man smashing through the, through the, through the building? Kool-Aid is red, right? Everybody know what red is. <laughs> red is red. But it doesn't mean it's used in, his, in the color sense. And in, this is, a, this is a, a perfect example. Mi suenta bacaria está en rojo. My bank account is in the red. If I said this, I'm not using red, even though I'm, even the word is is there, R E E D. I'm not using it in the sense of the color. I'm using it for a different representation. Anyway, don't want to dwell on that. I just I just wanted to show. Uh, oh, cuenta. Okay, thanks for that um, pronunciation, R L. Mi cuenta bancaria. All right, bancaria. All right, appreciate that. But anyway, y'all get my point? Show some ones if y'all get my point. I'm going to let this play, but, but y'all let me know if y'all get my point. Although it's red right there, it doesn't mean, we can't say red is red. All right? So, you know, I, I just don't want us to act brand new on all this stuff. This is, this is you know, some stuff that we got to um, deal with. All right, here we go. That he has to be labeled the black. But mm. not everybody else is the black. See, that's y'all looking this at is, it this wrong. This is the not context us. and the question that you should be asking. Why uh, is, is nah. he randomly the black? That's you looking at it else wrong. Is not the black. That's you looking, at, looking it wrong, at it wrong. Not wrong. Us. So that, when that, a person, that's your personal stance here. Yeah, that's but, your but, stance. But, but, it's not Go a ahead, stance. Let me say something. Question. Look, well, look, look at this. How about in the case of something we agree on? But the thing, the thing is that if I understand you correctly. You're ruling out that it stands for the black. I didn't your... rule out anything. I asked okay, the okay, question. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Well, my question is this. All right, I have to put a warning here. Um, it's, it's, it's about to get rated R 
the conversation about the about the about to go from zero to ten. <laughs> I'm gonna give y'all the heads up. This conversation about to go from zero to ten real quick. But that's not why I'm doing this. I don't I don't want I don't want the drama. Uh, I'm not playing this for the drama, so I may skip that and and try to get to the um the linguistic part, you know, uh, claim and stuff like that. So I'm gonna play it until until it it, it starts getting out of control. All right. Yes. According to you, does the chem wait? You see how calm it is? It's all quiet, and shock is like, according to you, a da 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 da. It's real quiet, right? <laughs> Watch this is about to go from zero to ten, quick. <laughs> M stand for the black, as we say in English when we translate it, or does it stand for a title? That that's not even a, a logical question. Yeah, no, but come on, don't start with that. Let's let's keep. Let's that's keep that's the argument you know, tonight. No, that you know, no. Listen, listen to what argument. he asked, because you're you're trying to make this a, a, a or thing. Does it mean? Because it could it could simultaneously mean black and still be a title. They're they're not they're okay, not okay. opposed. It ain't a title, though. No. Y'all made that so, up. So, it so, ain't so, a so, title, so, but okay. it ain't a title. Y'all made that up. Ujahu ain't pulled out no source, and you ain't got one either. <laughs> so I mean that that that's not the that's not the uh the the noisy part or anything, but I but I pause it there because later on part I'm, I'm probably gonna skip it later on Smash um was saying that Asar was yelling but right there uh, Smash started yelling I mean not yelling but getting getting louder like he must have got closer to the mic and you know that happens and stuff so I, so what happened later I'm gonna skip that but I want to pause here for a second and. And, and, and kind of reiterate something about names versus titles, right? Names names take on a function of a title, and I and I and I didn't want to um, elaborate and get get long winded explain it when I was on the panel that night. So so I abandoned me saying title because it would take too much for me to explain it. But but I summarized it in 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 other videos. But for you all right now, a name also serves as a title. And even the word title is from the word titular, and it's a label. It's, 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 you know, if you look up the word title, and, and you could do this on your own, it will tell you it's a titular, which originally meant a label on a tomb. So the word title was usually afforded, uh, uh, something that was afforded to people at death, really, originally. When you when you if you do the uh, historical uh, uh, etymological analysis of the word title, but it's titular, so it's a label though, and so a name is used as a label, and I and I went over this last night, so check out the video last night where I broke down um, how names function in in the all you know pretty much all cultures around the world and whatnot. So when so you know I didn't want to get go back and forth on that point, so I I, I kind of uh, just just was silent on that point. Um, where I, you know, when I felt that I, I may have to just explain a whole bunch of things on that, um, in terms of the title. But what Asar's point here is that, is that um, the word Kim could very well it could be both, and it, and it's absolutely right because uh, a name is actually serves as a title. It's a label, all right. It's a label, whatever a name means. Like for example, you know, I say this all the time. I know a sister named uh, Portia. I know a sister named Mercedes. Now we can look up the meaning of the word Mercedes, but the meaning of the word Mercedes had nothing to do with the sister. But the word Mercedes itself is used for the sister because it's a label for her. It's it's a distinguishing moniker, which is what a title is. Um, but it's originally used for for tombstones and death. But anyway, let's keep it going. I'm trying to get to this point, y'all. And you ain't pull a source. And you ain't pull a source that that say that you, it's an exactly. adjective. That's, 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 that's well, the one well, it is an adjective. You know, I you, did pull a source on that, and I'm gonna I'm, pull I'm, it I'm, again. I'm, you, you I'm pull it. All right, y'all see, y'all see, it's starting to get a little loud. You see that? You see, Smash got a little, little loud, but I, but I'm, I'm gonna stop it before it gets ugly. It's loud, but not ugly yet. All right. Source on that it was JP Allen. Stop lying. I pulled a source on that it was JP Allen. Oh, I do have to say something to that. Um. Smash did pull up James P. Allen, but that's but where James P. Allen mentions uh Henanit the Black, he he wasn't um saying that um the the black was an adjective at all. 
he just mentioned James P. Allen, and I just don't want to take the time to pull it up. I will show y'all. Let me see. Let me see if I have it up real quick. I just, I just want to be, and I don't want to get stuck on the on these um, points too long. I say I'm not. I want to get stuck, and then I end up dragging this out. Okay, I do still have it up. All right, let me show let me show you all real quick. Um, I mean, since 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 I uh, that was played, I uh, will show this real quick. This is James P. Allen um, right here, and I believe this is where it, the point was right here. All right, so this is James P. Allen, Middle Egyptian Grammar, right? Now, mind you, this book is James P. Allen, Middle Egyptian Grammar book. This is not a book that does a treatment on, um on the you know the 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 tomb and the and the people that we're talking about at all this is a grammar book but in the grammar book in chapter uh, one right here he mentions uh this term this person here henanit the black but he shows up here a facts you know a redrawing of a scene and i don't know if y'all can see my cursor but right here you have henanit kim right here at the bot at the bottom above this person's head all right henanit kim now, this is not an actual person, even in the scene. This is a statue that's being created by the person on the left. All right, so it's a statue being made of Henanit the Black. All right, so which is which is interesting. I'm I'll, I'll talk about that another time. But um, Henanit the Black. So so um, right here, James P. Allen mentions um, Henanit the Black. And down here, Henry the Black. But he doesn't do any analysis of the, of that and whatnot. So that's all I was I was saying. So you know, James P. Allen mentions it. Yeah, um, Henry the Black or whatever. So I just wanted to point that out. And then if we did go down in the book where where James P. Allen begins to talk about adjectives itself, James P. Allen actually talks about um, adjectives. You know. Uh, the different ones that that you know i don't want to bore you all with all the details you got many different types of adjectives attributive adjectives relative you got qualifying adjectives relational adjectives and on, among the qualifying adjectives you got uh predicative adjectives attributive adjectives and out of those you have ones that are dependent or independent and it and it can get intricate but I don't want to bore y'all with all those details, but I'm going to try to keep it going, y'all. With with any of the color determinatives in See, his name. Y'all to, wrong. To designate. I pulled the sword, No, one, with, his, one, with the, listen one, to one, what I said. With any of the color designation, I mean, color determinatives that ends the argument. There are no color determinatives. It's not so no color determinative when they're talking about the black land. The so you made that. If Kim it mean the black land as the photo no, soil, show Kim me the color the, determinative Kim in that. Black, Kim it the black land is something totally different than... <laughs> hey, no, y'all notice how everybody got loud, right? <laughs> Yo, boy, it's crazy. You know what? I'm telling y'all, when y'all go back and... I mean, this goes for everybody. When you go back and listen to stuff, it that's where, you know, you could kind of... Uh, analyzing and and you got to kind of laugh at stuff you know he's like man how did how did how the volume get turned up so quick but all right let me let it play and this guy kim's name but no I'm kim is the, the root question, of both of them and you, you ask for a determinative an example of peppy me kim with with any kind of color des uh determinative in his name that you can eliminate all the other homographs. No, that's not how that, research that works. Kim designates. You have to go look at other instances where we definitely know they're talking about a color black, and we don't have a color determinative there either. Like yeah, when they're talking no, about you black have or color determinatives. Not you when they're talking about black or that are using the word Kim for not, black. Not when they're talking, talking about? about black or you made that up, and you was sh what's the color determinative? First of all, for black, First of it all, is what? the hair. I asked a simple question. <laughs> <Y 'all see? laughs> hey, I don't know if Smash still watches. Smash probably wa probably rolled out. Oh man, you know, listen, y'all, don't come. Listen, don't come to me uh, uh, on some trying to leverage uh, some, you know, trying to instigate 
a non-existing beef or or um or put batteries in my back. I'm not that guy, right? Miss me with that. I'm speaking for myself, and I'm I'm saying this to everybody. I, I don't get down like that. You're not gonna be able to manipulate me to create a beef between me and some other brothers that we all straight on. If y'all if y'all hear us get get uh, passionate or we sound passionate about something or whatever the case is, don't try to instigate. Don't try to put batteries in people's back. And I'm only saying this because somebody tried to do that to me today, and I really don't appreciate it. You know, I'm not even gonna mention names because I'm not. I don't want to make a big deal out of it. I'm just letting people know how I get down. Because I understand, you know, we're on YouTube. We don't know each other personally. I get that. But I don't get down like that. Don't 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 try that. Uh, me, I'm, I'm cool with everybody. All right? Smash is in. I see Smash still here. Smash is still here. All, all of us are cool. I don't have no no issues with no nobody. Don't be trying to come. come um, Y'all probably don't know. What, no, have no idea what I'm talking about. But I'm just ranting right now. But let me let me just play. This, <laughs> this guy funny, though. Let me let this play, though. What is the color you determinative? You can't interrupt me while I'm answering the you question and no then answer. say I'm not answering the question. Come on. So What's here the it color is. color determinative? You have, you have two color determinatives in this instance. For, for Kim Black, it is the hair, the D3 uh, determinative, the, 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 the falling skin. out hair with That's the curl skin, at the end. But keep going. Hold on. So now, and then you also have the pellet glyph. And the pellet glyph is, is the general... Uh, term that is used for many of the other uh, color designations as well. It's the general color uh, determinative glyph. You will never find any of the names with any of those determinatives that did that definitive that is that is dealing with a color. Nah, you, you, you are up, guessing. Right? You, you are making. You know what else you will never do? You will never find nothing called black. A lot of things called black, like Kimmet. The black land, it never has that determinative. So that contradicts everything you, you said. Never, you can never, and, and I'm glad that you admit it. I need you to stop right there so we can pause <laughs> it, so we can have a... a, a yeah. <laughs> you see, he said, oh, wait, wait, I need you to pause right there. Stop right there. All right, anyway, let me let this play. Yeah, Time stop right there so because you're incorrect about the, the, what the no, determinative you means. Would never, you would never, ever, ever find a Kemet designation uh, 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 in any papyrus or any mm -hmm. artifact with the color determinative, but you will find Kemet with all with all other types of determinatives. But let me Never ask you, because it's not about no not color. One. We know what there's, Kim means. So what does instances. Kim mean? What does Kim mean? There is no... Well, I already answered that for you. The, the I-6 glyph just represents the KM consonants and sequence. There well, are many different Kims. In the oh. language, it means so, it represents so, the so color the black question, without a color determinative under it. Everybody know that. The question that he asked you, which you you skated around, is how did you come to eliminate all the other that question holographs the and decide on Kim the consonant sequence KM to mean black in the name? I answered that That's question a hella times, and I posed no. the question to you about your you name with a color. You're not let, you probably you didn't listen to that part of the show, but that's not a brand new question. <laughs> it was one of the first things Ujahu asked. So if you didn't hear that part, then I'm uh, sorry. For but him, that he question asked you when I, got I said on because the phone, it was in the adjective position. Listen, when I when I picked up the uh, when I uh, started hearing y'all, he asked you and you skated around it. So if y'all never I haven't about skated that around anything actually, and it's you very hear clear. Skate. Every there scholar no says, so this is what I did. So stop no, and listen now. So stop not, and listen that's now. A logic, that's an stop appeal and to listen now. They can't hear you no more, nigga. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> we got a boss right there. Hey, Smash, if you still listening, man, man, you off the chain. Oh, uh, everybody's off the chain. But look, I'm gonna skip from that point forward. I'm gonna skip this, right? Um, let me find the thing. I'm trying to get to the. All right. So anyway. Um, I thought I thought I thought that was worth nah nah. Um, I don't want anybody to think that that uh, it ended it ended right there. It was it was all good, it was it was all good. Trust me, Smash and and Asar are totally straight. All everybody is all straight. So don't don't even trip off of that. But I do, I just don't want to play the um the 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 all the um ugly stuff 
y'all can go you know go check out the original video for that right but now i'm gonna try to skip to um i'm gonna try to skip to the linguist part so you know this, this is the whole point i'm just sharing that part with y'all now let me reiterate why i shared that part of the clip out of the conversation that i've had with smash and shaka and then smash by himself i think that 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 part of the conversation is is um is fruitful you know i think all the other parts of the conversations kind of got got all over the place and and it's just not my opinion that it's other other people have been uh sharing their opinion and and was confused and i i try to you know engage in uh dms and stuff a few dms that i, I got over the past few days so anyway y'all take that clip and y'all take it and then hopefully we could continue the conversation or or move forward you know kind of get some more information um to build on that all right so that's why i wanted to play that part but i'm trying to i'm going to get to the linguist linguist part uh is a sar so remember y'all this is the question is our good brother sar a linguist y'all y'all hear y'all hear him um always being accused of not being a linguist he's a fraud he's a scam he ain't got no degree and the stuff like that right so shaka shaka and dugu kimit is gonna lay it on them and i'm gonna get to that point hopefully so um and this won't let me skip where i need to go so let me see you know that that's a book of Those the answer to that hell of, let, all right fine okay so successful I'm type of book on the large crime i'm oh, giving this fine. letter i don't know if they were black okay, or not yes you, so and yeah you but said, you on, you on, you, on, you on, don't on, giving this fine. lecture you're, you're my a sort, genius cite my you're book, language and linguistics you're my sort, finish us all just just mute when how you did, finish us all my mind just we don't wait for him to finish i'm giving this lecture I don't That's know fine. how many times over That's how so and yeah, you but say, you 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 brother, you don't brother, have brother, let him finish no, no, you're not going to twist my word. Okay. okay, so listen, I I I can't like scrub right to this timestamp, so so forgive me, but I'm gonna let it play from here, and you're gonna you're gonna hear the conversation get to the point about um Asar not being a linguist and everything, and and I'm just gonna reiterate a point. The point is made in the video, y'all gonna hear it, but I just want to reiterate that, and then I'm out. All right, so I appreciate everybody tuning in, but. Well, let's just play. All right. Okay. No, you're not going to my word. Then you're going to go back. I, look, Fine. you can you, hear stuff, but I can't make you comprehend. I've already said that these people are a hybrid people, that you had Africans who you said settled in that area. I have, I have listen, I, listen, I know but, you but, can. Hey, let me just say this. Everybody, I'm looking at the chat. Everybody's right, right? Uh, yeah, Saw could turn up. Smash could turn up. Everybody could turn up. Um I'm not no like people don't know me to turn up, but I could turn up. But but if you know, you know what? I'm gonna tell y'all this. Do this, and we should have a show and do this. We should have a show like everybody just be on the panel, like everybody, you know, everybody just be on the panel. But listen, do this. Write a list of of names of people that you know you see frequently on on YouTube, you know, and everything like. Write write a whole list, and then next to the name, put maybe the top three things that come to mind about that person like what 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 do you what do you think that person is known for or or some some attributes or something that sticks out so like for example you put down um um uh, uncle Ket or I, f I forgot forgive me Unc, Unc retired that name uh bobby banger if you put down bobby west bobby banger put next to it what what sticks out name three things and then put smash rockwell what sticks out name three things put my name with what sticks out put a sarmotep what sticks out put son jetty and 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 that would be a fun i think that would be a fun exercise to see what see how people see us i would be interested in that not just for myself that's what i'm, I'm saying list everybody it, I, i'm just curious i think that would be fun i don't know maybe, maybe i'm just tripping uh, that would be fun to me because because I, I just want to see how people you know how people sometimes it's always good to see how people perceive things right because you know you got sometimes we got to step outside of ourselves we get too caught up and um have these narcissistic uh tendencies we got to make sure that we we straight with the community you know so anyway i think that'd be a fun exercise y'all y'all do that somebody 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 do that somebody somebody take that up and 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 um submit some stuff that'd be interesting list everybody though you know list everybody not just who I name, but but just see. Put Ngozi down there. What's Ngozi? You know, 
I'm going to tell you right now, if, if somebody put in Gozi's name on, on a list and put next to him, it's going to be like fast talker. And Gozi be like, E1B1A and A23 NL and 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 and, 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 and the Natufians and you know the subclad of the subclad of the subclad of the a, a, of, of of the of the F gene of the of the STR and the, and the, and the snips and the snips and the snips and you know I'm from Chicago I'm from Chicago yeah 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 I'm from Chicago yeah yeah <laughs> yeah <I'm t> <laughs> let me stop let me stop I'm a bit, bit tripping man it must be past my bedtime oh, I'm gonna let this play sorry. I we have given this fine. lecture I don't That's know fine. how many times over That's how fine. many years I know That's what fine. I said. That's and fine. so do, and no. I said if you well, consider if you do the one the drop rule, they hold would on, be black. You, what you're not to going to do on, one at a time. is, is try to change my words because you can't understand. You see the how v, v, when I you can't handle right. one hold area, on, you try to change the subject into something else. Nobody mute out when you finish, Hassan. Just, just mute when how you did, finish, Hassan. My mind, just we don't wait for him to finish. Today. No, no. Mute when you finish, Hassan, please. Hassan Hotep said that Allah is in the Egyptian text. Didn't you say that, Hassan Hotep? I said the cognate for Allah and that Allah is a borrowing from I Egyptian. On, I have I already, tape saying I, I've written, Allah is in I have Egyptian a whole text. chapter on it. You can read okay. it in the book. Cite You're my disingenuous. Cite my You're book. You're lying. You're lying. That's a shame. How am I, I lying? Tape. The book I came out in tape. 2020. Listen, listen, I'm not talking and, about the and book. My, and my video is based on the book. I'm not talking about... No, we were talking, brother. You said Allah is an Egyptian text. That's what you said. I have you on yes, tape. Yes, I did. Okay, thank you. Just yeah, like yeah, El. So, like you don't, you don't understand language and linguistics. Just like El. But didn't you didn't you go back and forth with Wesley Muhammad talking about uh, um, Ra is not Allah or something like that? So you've changed yes, your Yes, Ra again. is not Allah. But so, so, Allah well, you is see, you found in Egyptian brother. text. Okay, and you, you said this again. is what I mean. You. you don't you. read. You yes, haven't I read, read anything. Yeah. You're the greatest. Yeah. Hey, so Asar is turned up right now. <laughs> oh, man. I know you don't read because you Asar, don't know Asar, the Asar, argument. Asar, Asar, Hotep. I've, I've washed you up. But listen, it's different being loud. It's not It's not ugly. By ugly, you know, people are not ad hominem and, and doing this and doing that. All right. So, you know, <clears throat> um, just want to make a difference between it being getting ugly because I, you know, we've seen ugly before. People start cursing each other out and and it totally take on a different character. This this is turned up right here, you know, being passionate or whatever, and it gets like that. I understand that, I ain't, you know. Eleven years ago, are you? No, but you haven't you have, read a damn have, thing. That's the have, problem. Read, I read, I read, read the text. Do, I, do you, I write do you, the I write the full argument so that you have, nobody can misconstrue. Cite my text. Do you have a Do you a want degree? the page numbers and the do stuff you, that I argue? Read the text, then brother, come back and try to make an brother, argument. And do don't try to halfway do you listen. Start you your line so we can start going so over there, bro. Hey, Smash for like, man, I had enough of this. Would y'all start your live, man? I'm about to end this. <laughs> Smash was like, man, I'm out of here, man. I bet you uh, my, my Smash probably like my wife looking at me and my dog my dog looking at me. I gotta get up off this thing. <laughs> Anyway, I'm gonna let it play. You uh, have a degree in linguistics. If you if you can, we can migrate. I have a slowly. degree in computer science, and we deal with linguistics. Do you have a degree in linguistics? Th what did I just say? So you don't have a degree in linguistics. So in li you don't have a degree in linguistics. So for years, Christopher you Aaron don't have a degree claiming. in linguistics too. You, Christopher Everybody Aaron says, don't have he, one. Joseph I'm Greenberg. I'm not talking about other people. Uh, I'm not talking Joseph about Greenberg. them. Joseph Greenberg. Theofalo Binger would doesn't would have a degree would would in linguistics. Asai is a grown man. He can defend himself. So for years, yeah, you'll be and Theofalo Binger doesn't have a degree be, in linguistics. You'd be, you'd be fraudulently claiming. Hold on. Do you accept? Do you accept? Obinga? You gotta let him finish, dog. Sorry, bud. I'm trying to be mute. You just do you accept Obinga? linguistic Obenga. argument. Uh, Asar was He's drinking tonight, blood. You normally be so, having your decor, blood. You Why are you going to let him say what you got to say? Thank you for Do you accept Theofalo Binga's linguistic argument? Asar been drinking. Shout out to my brother. Liz <laughs> Smash just chalked it off to Asar been drinking, y'all. <laughs> oh, man. This is funny, boy. So, 
Did you, I, I can't. Uh, all of y'all are talking. I didn't see here his answer. Stay Do you healthy. accept stay safe, stay uh, healthy. Theophilo Binga's and if I'm linguistic to argument? Channel, I would but you got. That I, I'm sorry, you can't hear him because you keep talking. He's trying to talk, and you're talking right over him, blood. No, I'm asking him the question. Y'all were talking, and he he. he uh, I was he trying to bring the, some type uh, of order back. because you extra hype tonight. What's up tonight? We caught you on a good, a bad night. Like you know no. me. This is my normal talking boy. Okay. Now you just extra hot. Let him uh, say a word okay. at least, brother. I I don't want to okay. mute you. Like I, okay. just okay. let him speak. You ain't letting okay. him speak. I, I, I just asked like a I simple said, question. Do you accept the Apollo Binga's linguistic argument? You are not a linguist. You've been lying. You're a fraud. Thank you. Goodbye. I Hotel. Ask <laughs> Yo, I thought that was the funniest. Hold on, I got to rewind that, man. <laughs> he, said, <laughs> he said, you confirmed it. You're not a linguist. You lied. You're a fraud. Good night. Yo, he pulled a Russell Simmons on Asara. Y'all, y'all, did y'all hear that? He pulled a Russell Simmons on Asara. <laughs> you know how Russell Simmons, what was it, Def Comedy Jam? He come up and be like, God bless, good night. That's what he, man. I wish I could. I wish I could rewind this. See, it won't let me rewind it exactly where I need it. It's gonna go all the way back. Hold on, let me see if I can inch it back. That was funny. See, my sense of humor, man. I, you know, I know y'all probably tripping off me because I laugh at some stuff. Y'all probably think I'm weird. Y'all probably think I am. I am nuts. Like I laugh at stuff. Y'all be like, what? Well, y'all wasn't even funny. Well, y'all, why you laughing? Hold on, let me see if I can play it from here. That was funny, though. <laughs> Yo, that was funny. Asking him the question, y'all were talking, and he he. he uh, I was trying to bring some type uh, of order back. because you extra hype tonight. What's up tonight? We caught you on a good, a bad night. Like you know no. me. Hi, this is my this normal is a talking boy. Okay. Now you just extra hot. Let him uh, say a okay. word at least, brother. I I don't want to okay. mute you. Like I okay. just let okay. him speak. You ain't letting okay. him speak. I, I, so, I just like, asked like a I simple said, question. Do you accept the Apollo Binga's linguistic argument? You are not a linguist. You've been lying. You're a fraud. Thank you. Goodbye. I Hotel. asked you a question. <laughs> do you <laughs> accept the Apollo Binga's? Because he doesn't he have a degree in linguistics. He, 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 I call that running even if he was welcome on the show. But whenever you say thanks, goodbye, and hang up and not answer a question, we call that running. But that's no offense to you, uh, Shaka. That's just what we call it. He is gone, Asar. I know you couldn't hold back. I know y'all have history. But dang, you hypey. Tell me what's going on, good brother Asar. <laughs> All right, y'all, man. <laughs> Yo, I'm over here. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> I played that part. Like ten times, man. That's that. They gotta make that a meme. Hey, I'm gonna make that a meme, y'all. That's gonna be a meme. I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna give y'all already a heads up. If y'all see it floating around, I did it. All right, I did it. <laughs> he said, "You lied, you fraud. Good night." <laughs> he said goodbye. <laughs> oh, he by Felicia him. Oh my goodness, boy. He's that's like goodbye, Felicia. Oh, that was funny, y'all. And you know what? It's because of that clip is why I'm live right now. That's why I called. That's, <laughs> that's why I called this video. I named it the It's a Sorry Linguist, even though the, most of the time I'm playing, you know, the other clip. But that was the highlight right there for me. I don't know about y'all, but that was the highlight right there. <laughs> He said, he said, be quiet, Asar. Be quiet. Asar kept talking. And then when Asar did be quiet, he said, you're a liar. You're a fraud. I'm done. Good night. <laughs> I don't know why that's so funny to me, man. Oh, my goodness, man. I, and no, I don't do drugs. I'm not on no edibles or nothing. I don't know, boy. That was just crazy. That's crazy right there. But all right, so hold on. Let me get serious again. So hold up. This is serious right now. Let me try to get. <laughs> Let me try. <laughs> Yo, man, why is that so funny to me? I'm telling you. Oh my gosh, boy. That's crazy, man. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> Yo. I don't know why that's so funny. Yo, man. (laughs) 
Hey, bye, Felicia. <laughs> oh, my gosh, boy. Man, if they say laughter is uh, medicine, man, I, I must be healthy. I don't know what right about now. Woo, boy. <laughs> I, I, <laughs> I don't know why. I don't know why that's so funny, though. Oh, my gosh. Man. Hey, that little thing is funny to me. I don't know, man. This is, oh, boy. Mm. All right, let me bring it back down. Oh, my goodness. Good gracious. So, listen. Now I can't even talk. <clears throat> so, listen. Okay, so here's the logic with this. No, that is this. <laughs> I can't even get serious. <laughs> oh, man. Hold up. Hold up. Okay, hold up. <laughs> and he had his daughter on his lap. Oh, man. That was just funny, y'all. I'm sorry. Okay. I'm sorry. That was funny. Okay, but listen. All jokes aside, I'm going to try to stop laughing. Because I <laughs> I just keep it. Let me take this off the screen. Oh, man. Okay. All right. So let's get serious. So now here's the logic, right? Now this is what Asar was was trying to get across. And, and, and uh, well, he did get, a, get across. But it's the logic. And this happens. And I see it happen. Now, when Asar is, is called a fraud and... Um, and you know he's not a linguist he's a scam he's a liar and this and that right <clears throat> it's because people people think in their mind that you have to have a phd in linguistics in order to be a linguist right now our our default you know in, uh, in you know um intuition will 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 match that up but like that's that's a default right thing to think right okay um, cause if you, if you call yourself a police officer, then you have to have certification with the state, you know, you gotta be uh, licensed or what, you know, you go through the whole training and everything like that to be a doctor, a medical doctor, you gotta go through your, um, your training and your residency, you know, so that's understood, right? But here's where it gets, <clears throat> it becomes a problem because you got people like Shaka and like others, they will hang on the word of Dr. Theophile Obinga not just because Obinga is Obinga or his uh, uh, all of his arguments, but Dr. Theophile Obinga um, asserts a lot of linguistic arguments, right? And people will quote those. People will quote those linguistic arguments as if it is like the laws of nature. They'll do the same thing with Christopher Errett. And if y'all not familiar with Christopher Errett, just, just Google his name and you'll see that, that everybody calls him a linguist. Right. Even even when you Google him, you're going to say they're going to say linguist, whatever, whatever, whatever. Joseph Greenberg, the person whose language family stru uh, phyla structure that we use when we say Afro-Asiatic, Niger, Congo, Nilo-Saharan, all that stuff. Everybody says he's linguist. Right. But guess what? None of the people I named just now from Obinga, Eric Greenberg have a degree or Ph.D. in linguistics. So, but, but, but people will quote those guys, like people will use Greenberg's classification system and swear it down by Afro-Asiatic, Afro-Asiatic speakers, this, that, 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 right? Obinga, same thing. Now, big up to everybody, all the names, you know, Christopher Eric, Obinga, of course, and, um, well, I don't know about Greenberg, but, <laughs> but anyway, not to take from, from, from any of their efforts, whatever it is. So my point, though, is that it is inconsistent logic to, to uh, claim that Asar is, doesn't have a Ph.D. in linguistics to try to use that to discredit an argument and not argue against the actual argument being made. That is a logical fallacy. I think Brandon pointed that out um, in the chat. All right. And that's the point I want to underline, bold, and highlight. So listen, y'all, don't allow that to happen. Don't do it. Don't be guilty of it yourself. And just understand how silly that logic is. Don't do that because, because you're contra that's contradictory logic. You can't 
you can't say that Asar is a fraud and, and, a, and a liar and defrauding people claiming to be a linguist um, and he doesn't have a PhD in linguistics and whatever the case is but yet on the other hand you're quoting other people as linguists when they don't have a PhD or, or, or degree in linguistics either you see what I'm saying that's not that's not fair it's not right and it's just um, a logical fallacy all day long and we should stay away from that all right so anyway Shout out to the brother of Sarah Motel. I didn't even have him on here. I, I just titled it that because of that funny moment, y'all. Y'all got to understand. I don't know why that was so funny to me. That is crazy right there. He he by Felicia him. <laughs> that was crazy. He Russell Simmons. Man, he was, the, he was the by Felicia Russell Simmons all rolled up into one, boy. Shaka's off the chain. Anyway, though, listen, I appreciate y'all tune, tune in. <clears throat> it's definitely late on the East Coast. I'm not going to do it all night like I did before. I don't know if anybody else is going live, but make sure y'all support everybody. Um, but listen, before you go support everybody, thumb up this video and make sure you subscribe to this video. All right? Um, and listen, all of us have different styles. All of us have different um, areas of, of focus and concentration and stuff. And if you put us all in the same room, you're going to get a nice blend. That I do know. And and what's and the beauty of that is that it allows people to to pick and choose what they what they um, uh, resonate with. Some people may like how I teach or how I articulate myself or or all this and that. Some people may not. Some people may like um, Asari Motep. Some people may his style, not him, but like w how he presents X, Y, and Z. Some people may not. Um, same thing with Smash, same thing with Unk, same thing with uh, Dr. Maat, same thing with um, um, everybody, right? So if you had us all in a room, then it's like it's like Baskin Robbins 31's flavor. Um, 31 flavors, right? You walk in there and you choose. And so that's how we should start to begin to look at this if we don't already. And I just don't want people to be trying to put batteries in my back, man. I don't have a, I don't have a battery pack. My, my back is not hollow you know what I'm saying I don't I don't do that so I'm good with everybody I argue against arguments and I really don't debate because I I come from a background of debating and I'm like it's it's like something that um I look at has been there done that I like I like argument um, real argument theory argumentation uh, debating but I like real ones though and I don't, I don't, that's why y'all don't see me engaging in, in any debates online because I don't even see those as debates. I see them as f fussing matches and entertainment. Um, and I, and I always say that, I unapologetically say that. So you don't see me debate. <clears throat> um, I think debating is good. I think argu arguments are great because I know what they're really for if done properly. But, um, but yeah, so I, I just think that, that, um, Everybody should should uh just be just be straight, man. We we are we are good, all right. But that was funny, y'all. Y'all gotta admit that was funny as all outdoors. If y'all didn't laugh, I don't know. Maybe I'm just weird. But all right, listen. I, I appreciate y'all y'all tune tuning in. Um, really, it's a Tuesday. It's late. Y'all could be doing anything else, and I'll be going live. So now this is what you can expect from from me from this channel from my um from my other panelists and things like that. We're gonna um, start focusing, refocusing again on the language. So if, if language is of interest, <coughs> excuse me, we're gonna touch on some surface things. Nothing too heavy, nothing too light. You don't have to be scared or anything like that. We're just gonna reiterate some of the some of the things we've talked about before, but in a fresh way, in a um, more recent uh, presentations and things like that. All right. So we're gonna. Um, so anyway, what I guess what I'm saying is that I'm gonna use more elements of the language to address some of the issues that you see on YouTube and on Facebook and stuff like that when it comes to ancient Egypt. So, you know, people are going to talk about whatever they talk about, but then we're going to hit it from the, from the angle of the language. All right, so if you all got some suggestions or some things you feel that we should cover, um, may, you know, hit me up. Let, let it be known. All right, but shout out to, shout out to everybody in the chat. <clears throat> um, I didn't get a chance to interact too much with the chat, but... Um, yeah, I'm definitely going to get my water. That was funny, though. That was funny. I wish I could rewind it and play it back real quick. 
All right, but anyway, I'm gonna say Shimon Hotep and uh, Great Affair, which is good night. And hopefully, y'all, you know, learn something or have fun doing so. All right, so peace. said that when you go to chemist school, you became more alert. You made a wake up, your spirit wake up, and you became a more human being. That's your character is built in a school. Classical studies. Uh, you may, we must know Medu nature. You see, maybe in the future we need to know some meritic too. We need to know Medu nature. achievement in Kemet for me is education. The way they think, they build, and they practice their education is very unique in history. Without education, I believe there will be no Kemet. <laughs>